All find right. Out Hello, people. everyone. Everyone's so excited about all, all sorts of different things. Um, but everyone say hi to chat because chat's here. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Hi, chat. Hello. Oh, hi there. Yo. Amazing. Um, so, yeah, we're going to play the same script we played last week, which is the Latin Who Watches the Night Watchmen script, except now it has a village idiot on it, which we tried actually at Games in London this past week. Uh, and it went really well, mostly, besides the one where um, the demon died on the first day. But other than that, it was great. Uh, so, yeah, we're going <laughs> to. Sorry, Ellen. <laughs> it was a good game. It was a great game. And then it was actually a great game after that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that today. So yeah, I'm gonna head um, head into our little little secret lair with chat and set up a game. And y'all feel free to talk about whatever you like. And we will be back here with a setup in a few minutes. All right, here we are in the campfire, ready to um, yeah put something together. So for those of you that were with us last week, I know you saw this. Um, this game, which I thought was a really fantastic game, it is on the Gen Con YouTube channel for those of you that want to go back and watch it if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah, let's, um, let's take a look at some characters. I was thinking about this earlier, and I think it might be fun to have a... You can grab the chips, that's fine. <laughs> um, it's, it's dinner time in the UK, so we are, you know, eating crisps like real adults here. Um, but yeah, it's, let's see. I was thinking earlier that I kind of want to try two village idiots because I've seen a lot of people running this with either no village idiots and having it as a bluff. I've seen a lot of people put all three in and go to town. And I kind of just want to put two in and see see how that goes for the game. Um, I'm not sure yet what I want for, for minions. If anyone has thoughts of things that um, they want to see, that'd be great um, to put in chat right now. Um, Astenyi asks, what did the village idiot end up replacing? It replaced the balloonist. So that's a little bit interesting we've, because we've got slightly less outsider modification now, but I think given that we have a couple of outsiders that are very inclined to not claim, and we have uh, two demons, the Fengu and the Vig, that modify the outsider count as well, you know, just like SNB, I think we have that flexibility, so I'm not too worried about the balloonist not being there. Um, and yeah, it seemed to run really, really well at the games that we played um, in London. In the second one, um, in the first one, it was a poppy grower and the harpy made a player mad that the demon was evil. And so we killed the demon on day one. But then we re and I got to be a village idiot, I think for the first time, actually. And it was great. I was super sober all game. And then the snake charmer hit the leech and hosted me. And then I was very not sober. Uh, <laughs> but it was... It was a really, really good one. Ooh, demon marionette um, poppy grower. I was actually thinking about having a poppy grower in this. Um, and maybe... <sighs> I don't know. Either that or maybe having a lunatic and then having the lunatic find out that it's a poppy grower game because I think lunatic with a poppy grower can be really, really sneaky. Um, so let's let's have a lunatic in this. Um, we're going to get two outsiders unless we do a Fangu or something. We could do a Fangu. I haven't done a Fangu game in a while. And I like with Fangu that you can hit an outsider, get them as good, and then they get Fangu jumped. Um, so yeah. Ooh, Harpy's really fun. Yeah, and I agree with that, that Harpy and Village Idiot play really nicely together. So let's have a Harpy. We'll do a Fangu, so we'll need an extra outsider. The Puzzle Master was an absolute crazy mess last time that we ran this. Um, and so, I'm, I don't know, we could have a Puzzle Master. Goon and Fangu can be frustrating a little bit, but not the worst thing in the world. And I do really like, the, the Goon and Village Idiot is very fun together. So I'm, oh, I'm torn on the Goon. Um, but let's, let's maybe leave the Barber um, and do Puzzle Master and Goon, I think if we're gonna do a Fangu. That's a good point. If we add a Goon, we have a chance of a five-person evil team, which is risky. Um, but I'm gonna stand by it because that's what's on this script and we will <laughs> see how that goes. If it does end up as a five-person evil team, um, you know, hopefully it won't because that's, that's it's gonna be fine. Watch, watch this happen. We, I mean, if we put in a cannibal too, then we could have a six-person evil team. There's not a Spirit of Ivory on this. Um, <laughs> what a mess. Um, okay, so maybe maybe we won't do a Fengu, actually. You know what? Let's do a Vig. 
because then if they kill the minions, it's not as much of an issue. And I think I like the Vig for the lunatic. Um, and then we'll take the puzzle. Oh, but then we need... Well, if we do a godfather, then we could have Vig minus one, godfather plus one, and have two, and take the puzzle master out. I think I like that. Because um, the Vig can kill those minions for some more poison. The goon will give a little bit of poison. The lunatic's going to think it's a poppy grower. And then let's get some townsfolk in here. Um, I don't love... I was going to put a snake charmer in, but I don't love snake charmer with Vig because rules as written, if the snake charmer hits the demon and some of the minions were already dead, they don't actually retain their minion abilities because it's a new iteration of the Vigor Mortis ability, which is really, really rough for the evil team. Although I could just house rule it and say if a snake charmer has hit, then the minions get to keep their powers, which could be really, really wild. Um, <coughs> let's see. I like, yeah, I like that. Um, someone said to put in a sailor for some drunkening and leech bait, and I think that's quite good. Uh, especially because the sailor was the marionette last time, so it'd be nice to run this with a sober sailor. Um, let's see what else. I think, given that we have, we don't have the opportunity for so many evils this time, let's actually put the cannibal in. Ekin had a really, really fun game as the cannibal last time on this, and cannibal goon especially with two picking minions, is one of my favorite interactions. Getting an evil cannibal is the sneakiest thing in the world. Um, let's have a high priestess, because JC didn't live a long time last time, and high priestess is really fun on this script. So let's see, we have five. So we just need two more townsfolk now. And hmm, let's see, let's see. I think a minstrel is quite sneaky with a vig because it, they're going to you know, start, start to get to that point where they're maybe worried about how many evils are alive. And if some of them have died in the night, then the minstrel can be a good balance to that. And let's get one more. Let's have a night watchman because they're fun. And last time it was a bluff. All right. That feels, that feels pretty good. Um, Yes, for the folks who are asking about the app, it is currently a uh, Patreon subscription, so you can get a subscription as either a Townsfolk level, which is, I think, just if you want to go on and play games, and then there's also a Minion level if you want to go on and host games for a whole group of friends. So there's lots of different, um, lots of different options. Um, it is, yeah, it looks like the links are getting censored in the chat, but the link is online.bloodontheclocktower.com for the actual link to the app. And I don't actually know the link to our Patreon off the top of my head, but if you Google Blood on the Clock Tower Patreon, you will probably find it. <laughs> All right, so this, um, this looks pretty good as a setup. I think I'm happy with this. We have a godfather, a harpy, and a vig uh, facing off against some, some village idiots, a cannibal, Minstrel, Sailor, Night Watchman, a goon, and a lunatic. And that lunatic can think it's a poppy girl game, which is quite nice. <coughs> and then, let's see, we've got, for bluffs, I think, yeah, juggler, gambler, innkeeper, maybe, noble. We have some, some flexibility there. I'm a little bit nervous about them not having a lot of ongoing info roles in that bluff list, but I think... I think they'll be okay, and I think it's nice to be able to fall into Pixie, Snake Charmer, Poppy Grower as all sorts of things that good or evil players might claim, but don't really have to, you know, they could be seeming suspicious at first, and then and then I think be okay. So, yeah, we'll see, um, we'll see how this goes. Let's, uh, let's throw these out and go back to our players and let them know that we're about to start. <laughs> See, hey, this everybody. is how much Oh, hello. Oh, all good. Um, we, will, we will see all sorts of things. Uh, but in the meantime, you should all have tokens. And I am going to send you all to sleep. Good night. Good night. Guys. All right. So this looks quite, quite good. Um, we've got... Let me just figure out how to allow chats on an iPad. This is great. Okay. So we have, yes, George is actually the lunatic, which is super, super, super funny because last game, George was the pixie snake charmer and he came out on day one saying he was the demon. Um, 
JC is our real demon, and then we have Ellen and Lorinda. Lorinda, they are always evil on this channel. I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, but this is this is going to be a good crew. Oh, and then we can pick between Alex and Arif, which is going to be that uh, drunk village idiot, and which one's going to be the sober one. I think this is going to be really, really fun. This is a good a good mix here. All right, so we've got a lot to do tonight, and let's um all right let's see where we start we don't actually have to put out too many um tokens or anything i think just for chats um purposes i'm gonna switch those tokens around so george is really our lunatic and jc is our real vigor mortis and he'll have to learn that george is the lunatic um all right let's send let's get those bluffs in here we have a Let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's give an outsider because it's a big game and a godfather and there's a Fengu in the script so they can have an outsider. So we'll, and let's give a juggler because juggler's not great cannibal bait. And then, <laughs> yeah, let's go gambler. Why not? Because that'll get them some claims. All right. So, and then we'll need some bluffs for our lunatic as well. So I think let's, let's take a look at what was left over. We can give them noble innkeeper and let's give them, I think an outsider for the first one. So we're gonna say noble innkeeper and Oh no, I'm torn. Maybe let's give, let's see. Um, oh, someone just said Barber, Pixie, Noble. Yeah, I was thinking Barber is the third. Cause I think I really want Lunatic to be an outsider in this game. If I was less convinced in it being an outsider, I might give a role that was in play. But if we're gonna, we're, if we're gonna tell them Poppy Grower and tell them Bluffs that are out of play, yeah, let's just full send on, on making George think that he's really the demon and see how far that gets us. Um, wonderful. All right, so those are George's Bluffs and let's start uh, waking people up. Let's get, let's see. Oh, sorry. It's still, oh, what am I doing? It's still night, don't worry about me. I just pressed the wrong thing. Just thought you might want to see the light <laughs> yeah. of day for a second. Yeah, no one's woken up yet. You're fine, go back to so sleep. Bright, just, actually, yeah, <laughs> so, so bright here, goodness gracious. Okay, don't oh, mind no, me. Oh no, the night numbers added up. It was actually night pretty bright as well. It did what? give me a shock and it is very bright. I feel like a cat at a foster place where I saw the door opening and the cage coming out and got all excited, but then no. Hello. I don't, sometimes, you know, I know what I'm doing and then sometimes I just, I press a button and I'm like, that was the right button. And then everyone wakes up. So, you know. I'm terrified whenever I've had to press any sort of button on this app. That's, that's relatable, but they're good. They're good buttons. It's just, you know, yeah. just takes a little bit. Right. Uh, would you like to know your team? Well, you don't get to, no, just kidding. Um, you do, you do get okay. to. <laughs> and, and be, that'd be a little bit rough. Um, so let's see, uh, Lorinda is the other minion. Nice. And JC is the demon. Amazing, cool. Cool. Um, and yeah, I'll be back to let you know what outsiders are in play. Sounds good, see you in a bit. Cool, cheers. All right, and let's grab Lorinda now. Um, who is evil for the millionth time. <laughs> I know. Hey, Hello. you're not the demon. You're not the demon. <laughs> so progress. Get. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Right. Um, Ellen is the other minion. Okay. And JC is your demon. Superb. Okay. Thank you. Amazing. Uh, while you're here, would you like to pick two players for me? Sure. Let's make um tyler mad that alex is evil okay tyler mad that alex alex's neighbor i don't there's only one alex yes. in this game um perfect so tyler is mad that alex is evil i love that for you um all right thank you very much thank you cheers cool all right let's go get george and tell george that there is a noble an innkeeper and a barber and that he does not get to know his minions. Hello. 
Hello. So remember the last time we played the script, mostly the script, and then you came out mm. on day one. And you were like, "Well, I started this game as the demon." Oh, okay. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Fancy that. Um, no, it's just you. Um, I can tell you some roles that are out of play. You ready? That would be great. Thank you. Excellent. Um, there is no noble in this game. There is also no innkeeper. Okay. And there is no barber. All right. I uh, guess I'm probably going to go noble. Do I go best guess at this point? Cool. Um, unfortunately, that is all that I get to tell you right now. Truly, I was shocked by this development. Uh, thank you, Gabs. All right. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Cheers. Yep. Wonderful. All right. And now let's go grab JC to give him the real deal. Hello. 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 How are you feeling about your role this game? Yes, it's an interesting one. I don't know what it is for sure yet, but... Okay. Um, you are the Vigor Mortis. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, good point that you you just knew Demon. It's, I literally <laughs> always forget that when I'm running not in person. Because in person, it's very obvious. You're like, lunatic token. And then they're like, what am I when you wake them up? But <laughs> here, I'm just like, oh, la -da -da -da, I changed your token. But you did not. Yes, you are the Vigor Mortis. Uh, you have teammates that I am going to tell you about. Uh, they Ooh. are Ellen and Lorinda. Of course, Lorinda. Yep. <laughs> I know, Love right? You. I saw that and I was just like, how? Every time. I don't think Lorinda's been good on this channel. Maybe the very first game. It's fine. It's fine. Um, great. And I've got some rules. Ellen, are... Ellen usually good. Oh, yeah. Course, well, Ellen, so. notoriously good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Classically good, Ellen. In the game that we played in London over the weekend, Ellen was picked by like every village idiot, was made like the person, like Evie was harpy mad about Ellen being Evie. It was, anyways, Ellen's gonna have a much better time this game, clearly. Um, right, okay. Some roles that are not in play are the puzzle master. Okay. The juggler. Yep. And the gambler. Cool, okay. Wonderful. Lovely stuff. And right. the lunatic is? George. Well, George, perfect. Yes. And George has Thank not picked much. anyone tonight, so all I'm going to tell you is that George is your lunatic. Lovely stuff. Thank you very awesome. much. Awesome. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Cool. I feel like I've maybe missed some sailoring in the night, but let's... Um... Oh, no, cool. Sailor goes later than normal. So we've not... Yeah, we've done everything in the right order, and I definitely knew that going in. Uh, cool. Let's go get um, Hobbs' pick. The reason that I didn't wake up Ellen, or tell Ellen about the outsiders earlier is because if Hob picks Ellen, then I could drunk Ellen and lie to her about what outsiders are in play. I might do that if that happens, but we'll see who Hob picks first before we, you know, get into that. Ahoy, matey! Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I love the sailor. Me too. Mm. Who's it gonna um, be? I'm gonna go across town and visit Brockwell, please. Brockwell, you got it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Well, that is a thing of beauty because Hob is now goon drunk. Brockwell stays good, which isn't really an issue because there was no one else evil that could have picked him tonight anyways. And Ellen gets to know the right team and Hob will die if tested tomorrow. So that's gonna be a fun time. Now we can tell Ellen that there is a goon and a lunatic in play. Hello again. I am back to tell you that there is a goon and a lunatic in this game. Fun, cool. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. Cool. I like that for Ellen as well because she'll know immediately that JC is specifically the Vigor Mortis because that's the only way now that there's no balloonist on the script that there would be exactly that amount of outsiders in the game since she knows that she would have oh i guess technically that's not true because she could have subtracted one and a thank you okay i take it back i've just lied to you all i'm so sorry um but people do lie in this game i guess so maybe fine but yeah so she'll know that either she's added an outsider and it's a vigor mortis game or jc is a fangu and she subtracted one but she knows that he's not a leech 
So if people are trying to kill him, then that's an issue for her, and she knows that he's not an imp. Cool. So, you know, that's something. All right, let's see what else. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Mary Joy. I am in your country, and I love it here. And it's delightful <laughs> and somehow weirdly warmer than California, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, right, okay. What am I checking? I am checking who else needs to wake up. We've already got Lorinda's picks, so we just need to wake our village idiots and ask our night watchmen if they want to do their thing and then figure out who Amy Rose needs to talk to. Cool. Progress. We are progressing through the night. Let's... Um, Let's see, I might, I think I'm just going to wing it in terms of who the drunk one is and see, um, based on who they pick. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. If Eric ever pays attention. There Hello. we go. Hello, you were just looking out so, so mystically into the, yeah, I definitely wasn't like making fun oh, we, of you. We were talking about... Anything. We were talking about orders of things and like what happens last in the night order. Turns out it looks like it's the high priestess, um, at, like the global night order. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty late. So the the last three for sure are chambermaid, mathematician, which are actually jinxed because they technically have to simultaneously go last. And then yeah. high priestess is typically last because the idea is that you want to be able to give them like the most useful possible information, which you wouldn't necessarily okay. know until like the yeah. Anyways. Who are you picking? Oh, uh, I mean, I always pick Hob when I get the Village Idiot token. I've got the Village Idiot token more than twice. Um, I'm going to pick Hob. I'm just going to pick Hob. Let's pick Hob. Hob. Hob is good. Great. I'm drunk. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Bye. Love that. Cool. Um... So we're going to see, we have not decided, for the folks that are asking, we have not actually decided which village idiot is drunk. This is something um, that I sometimes do as a storyteller where if I have something like a fortune teller red herring or a village idiot drunk token, for example, and there are lots of different possible things that could happen, sometimes I won't actually put that reminder token down right away. I'll kind of see what people pick and then see how those picks go. Um, So right now we've given Arif true information, um, which means that we could give Alex true or false information. I realize this is a little bit unconventional and anyone who really is like super into token integrity might be like rolling over in their grave right now. I, I, I'm literally the boss of storyteller training. No, I'm not going to be like that. But um, yeah, this is totally fine. Like as long as you are staying by the rules of the game and giving correct information to all the players involved, like you can be a little bit flexible with where you're placing your tokens and what sorts of information you're giving and ultimately trying to use the tools that you have at your disposal as a storyteller to make sure that things are balanced and fun for all of your players. But yeah, that said, we might just make Alex the drunk one, depending on who he picks. So let's find out. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. How's it going? It's good. It's a Thursday. I've been paid. Uh, I've got a bit more energy. Love uh, that I've for got you. not I've got to worry about housing snakes. I just that get to go quite around. That was a situation town. last time. It, it, it was a it was a, a snaky situation. This time around, I just get to go around dribbling. Mm-hmm. Cool. So uh, that's who's... what fidget, fidget, fidget idiots do? Dribble yeah. a lot. Yeah, they play a lot of basketball. So. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go dribble on George's cottage door, and then George. I'm going to lick his window. Okay. Um, well, you you discover as you um, you know take a nice long lick up George's window, um, <laughs> you you realize with horror that there's um it kind of clears off some of the fog from the window and you you spy, um, yes, frosting right that delicious. George actually lives in a cake, um, so oh, yeah. Anyways, oh. um, he's also evil, so. <laughs> okay, I uh, won't be talking to him tomorrow then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Good luck. Cheers. All right. That. See, this is this is why this is why we don't necessarily put the token down first because now our drunk village idiot has seen the lunatic as evil, and that's perfect and beautiful and yeah, happy with that. Uh, we do need to also tell Tyler before I forget that he is mad. Um, don't want to forget that minion.
Hey. <laughs> hey, I wasn't expecting to get woken up. Yeah. Um, well, I'm happy that I get to talk to you uh, and that you're here. And uh, also, you are mad that Alex is evil. Oh my gosh, I love- whoever the harpy is, you're my favorite person, I hope your team wins. Uh, so hold on, hold on, I was too excited, I didn't listen. Okay. I'm mad that Alex is evil? You are mad that Alex is evil. Alex, your neighbor to the- Yeah, awesome. Let's yep. let's get Alex killed. I love the harpy madness. Bring it on. Amazing. Thanks, cool. Good stuff. That's great. I love that. Okay, so I believe that's just- Sa okay, Sam and then Amy Rose. Perfect. All right. I love talking to chat so much that I run these nights really, really slowly. So we're going to work on that while still including chat, but also, you know, running faster nights. Hey. I'm sending it to Lorinda. I think this, this, this conversation has been enough to, to warrant Lorinda receiving this ping. Okay, you, you pick Lorinda. Yep. Perfect. Cheers. I don't know what was happening in chat, but this is very fun. I love when Night Watchmen pick evil players because it's such a fun thing to try and figure out what to do with it. Hey. Hello. Uh, Sam is the Night Watchman. Okay, thank you. Yep. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is this is great. I. Oh, now who do I send Amy Rose to? Because if I send Amy Rose to, hmm, <laughs> oh, this is tricky. Who in the heck do I send Amy Rose to? I really don't know. I think if Sam had picked a good player, I would have probably picked the player that Sam picked. I think I'm gonna send her to Sam because that's a good player who's used their ability and may or may not be confirmed, and I think that's going to be the most useful thing I can give her. Um, let's see, we have... Yeah, I was thinking, I, thinking Lorinda... I don't mind Aerith, but I don't, I don't know if I want to point to one of the idiots this early, because it might make them think about which one is sober, and I don't want to set a standard of like, oh, you saw a village idiot, and that means they're sober, and that means every single night of the game you should trust the information that they have, because remember, evil doesn't have, like, the only way that they can poison Aerif in this setup is if JC kills <coughs> Ellen, and that's a, that's a lot. So I think, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stick with Sam, yeah. I like that. All right, and as soon as Amy turns around, we can we can do that. Yeah. All right, and then we'll then we'll get going. Perfect timing. Hello, hello. Finally at the end of the night order. Let's go. Cool. Um, you should probably talk to to Sam today. I know he's your neighbor. Um, Amy, you should talk to him. Great. Right? Yep. Thank you. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're Hi. welcome. Cool. All right. So that is our whole night. Um, yeah, I think Ekin, especially like Ekin's a really smart player, and I if Amy lives like another night or two, I would imagine, especially if Ekin's on the right track, that'll be a great person for her to talk to. The irony of having a minstrel on a high priestess script is that the night when you would most want the minstrel to talk to the high priestess is on a minstrel night, but they're drunk, so you can't give them the minstrel. Anyways, uh, I mean, you could, but it's I just that yeah I like that. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go have a day. Let's go have a game. Let's do it. I think seven worth about 2018 have been brilliant. There's been three really good ones. No, what else is brilliant? Um, that I was alive until last night when I was murdered. That part was less brilliant. But uh, yeah, if you could just, you know, fix that for me. <laughs> Game, let's play. Um, um, okay. Well, I'm afraid there isn't a professional in the script jams, but you know, we'll yeah, try our best. We're supposed to bring you back to life. That's It's okay, I'm not, a, I'm not a townsfolk, it's not an issue. <laughs> Uh, no. Please, will you tell me if I am? I've decided I want to know. But you're not. Okay, well, I'm the high priestess that saw you, and you're my neighbor. Well, go talk to Lorinda, you'll find out why. 
Okay. Um, Thank which you. is good because you can you can do it and I don't have to. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Situation. Cool. Both um, sound good. Yeah, I might I might just go with village it, village idiot for the time being, and I'll potentially back into um. Puzzle master. Cool. Um, What's the other outsider that's in play? Uh, goon. Goon. Ah, oh, lovely. Okay. So yeah. Cool. Um, the bluffs are puzzle master, juggler, gambler. Um, I'm going to go juggler, I think, and yeah. see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, the other option is, is if you did. Uh, yeah, I think that's. I won't take that as binding either way. Um, as much as much fun as it would be to suggest that you're a marionette, mm -hmm. I suspect that might um, may go badly for me. Um, would you like to be my marionette? I'd love to be everyone's marionette, but I, I'd, I'd, I'd rather you only told me if it's true. But if well, it is true, you don't have to tell me. Yeah, it's not. So you aren't truly my marionette, but I'm happy to foster you if you feel that you need a loving embrace yeah, see, from. That would be that would a, be good from a townsfolk or from an evil folk. You know, yeah, like I'll be both. honest. I don't, I don't know. Like I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't know if I can trust my information. It could. I, I guess Ooh. I'm going to need somebody. So sensible. you've got some information, but you can get it. Yeah, yeah, I, I could do with an adult to pass it if that's okay. Oh yeah, 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 no, you, yeah. you, you swallow it and. Yeah, um... yeah. Apparently, apparently, Hob is good. I don't know what to make of that. Oh, oh. So, are you dribbling? I'm like, are you, are you, I'm, are you I'm, looking a bit uh, cross-eyed, and no, no, you're, no. you're struggling I'm, with numbers? I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just not sure what I think. Okay. Um, so I'll leave I'll leave him be for now, and we'll see what else happens. But <laughs> just, drawn, just can't have you drawn later. Snake Charmer again? I I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> not doing that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't that just be so funny if, uh, yeah, as Pixie, you saw Snake Charmer? Because lightning can't strike twice, George. Of course. I mean, I'd probably attempt to play it differently this time. I think. Yeah. Um, what sort of storyteller would do such a thing? <laughs> I, I know it'd be scandalo. Impossible to speculate. Um, but George, on a serious note, um, if you want to be my marionette, I'm happy to play along. But okay. yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Okay. Is... Uh, anything you can tell me about what you are? Yeah, if, yeah, I'm I'm happy. So I start knowing whether three people and one of them might be bad. Ooh, fascinating. Yes. What's going to happen on this nice. script? It is what's going to happen. Um, who did you pick? Um, I picked myself, and I learned good. It's a, it's a valid pick. It, I just choice. checked. Yeah, I feel like Jams might have yes. given you good either way. Yep. So I know um, I'm not the drunk one. That's how I that's how I I rule it. No, you don't. I've also been um, I've also been picked by a night watchman and I've confirmed them. So you know that's like double confirmation for me. The double confirmation that you're not drunk. Yeah. Evil that's players wouldn't do that. I feel like I'm just digging a hole. Yeah. I picked Hob. Who did you pick? <laughs> <laughs> I picked Amy Rose. Okay. Cool. Um, good. Good. I got good. Did you get good? I also got good. Yeah. Oh look at the, oh, look at oh I also sad got good. that mine doesn't Amazing. do that. Oh. I don't, I don't know what to say. You can take my laptop if you want. No, don't take Don't yes, do that. Then I won't I be able to play like Cocktail. Um, um, I've heard of a third village idiot. Oh, nice. And this one apparently picked me and got good. That's okay. that's genuine. Yeah, no, I'm not. Um, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I, I might need to revisit. If you are telling me the truth, are you actually telling me the truth, though? I, I am, yeah. I am. <laughs> okay, right. I need to double check something. But uh, I, won't, I won't gamble you then. Cool. I mean, if you're not the gambler, you can't gamble me, right? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but I need to corroborate something. <laughs> okay, Thanks. are you... Oh, no, are you the pixie, Brockwell? <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not pixie, I'm not pixie. Um, I need to corroborate something. All right, thank you very okay, much. Sure. All right, thanks. Don't know what happened there, but it sounds beautiful. All right, it's, um, it's getting about that time for it to be nomination, so let's go chill in town square for a second.
well, I always feel a little bit guilty when I hit the gong, like, right as two people have just gone into a chat. I have a really good habit of just constantly, like, <laughs> oh, did you want to talk? Because screw you. All right, <laughs> uh, we need to talk tomorrow. Well, as one of those people, it feels pretty bad on this end, too. <laughs> I apologize. Um, please accept my apology and also accept this time for talking and claiming any sorts of public things that anyone might possibly want to claim on this fine day in our lovely town. Uh, I guess I'll juggle. Okay. Uh, no, JC, wait. No? Oh. What am I waiting for? In the meantime, Alex, yeah, do you want to... Okay. Yeah, can I, can I juggle? Yeah. Um, I would like to juggle that. You're muted. Thank you. I'd like to juggle um, with my amazing um, hands. Uh, Ellen, Hob, Lorinda, Ekin, and George are dribbling, licking windows, and looking quite idiotic. They are the village idiots, and it's a pop group. Ooh. All right. I actually heard from a village idiot that saw Alex as evil, so this is interesting. I heard from a harpy who picked Alex as their second person. <laughs> oh, that's even more <laughs> Amy Rose? Hello, I shall juggle Arif through to Ekin as the licking windows person, like Alex said. Okay. I feel inspired for, um, I'm going to have to tell Gen Con that we named the stream wrong. Uh, JC? Uh, I would like to juggle, uh, I would like to juggle Ellen as a village idiot. I would like to juggle Tyler as a cannibal. I would like to juggle Sam as a night watchman. I would like to juggle myself as a juggler. Um, and let's go with George is the leech. All right. Uh, Arif. Um, I'd like to juggle Hob as the marionette, please. Okay. Lorinda. Thank you. You're a mute. No need. No. I'd like to juggle my muted phone. I'd like to juggle <laughs> Alex as the village idiot. Um, Amy Rose as the night watchman. Hob as the village idiot. Arif as the village idiot. And Brockwell is the innkeeper. Got it. Uh, George. Uh, I would like to go, but I only spoke to two people today, so I'm just going to go for Amy Rose, JC, and Tyler as the marionette. All right. Uh, oh, Sam tell me. Like I don't want to know. Um, Sam would like to juggle Amy Rose as the night watchman, Lorinda as the village idiot, Ellen as the village idiot. Um, and JC as the High Priestess. You got it. Akin? Um, I would like to juggle Arif as the marionette and all four demons. Okay. Well, nominations are open. <laughs> Suddenly got very warm in here. Um... Amy nominates Arif. <laughs> Go on. Uh, it appears that Ekin uh, is harpy mad that Alex is evil, so uh, I just wanted to help Ekin out and pass the uh, accusation to Ekin. Um, no, uh, I think Alex is evil. Uh, Arif Juggle was just being funny. Uh, I have nothing on Arif. Well, I've heard enough. All right. It takes no, me both, six George. votes. I have needed to defend. Oh, no, I, 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 I don't need oh, a defense. Sorry. I just you need can, people yes, to not defend. vote on this. <laughs> it's a meme <laughs> nomination. Please don't vote on this. Well, it I've takes... I've heard Arif might make cannibal food. Six votes, no. meme or not. Starting. You didn't hear this. No. I mean, that was from the voices in my head, but I did hear it. <laughs> the most important thing to listen to in, in a game of this caliber. Three votes is not enough. Arif is safe. I would like to nominate Alex. Alright. 
uh, village idiot ping evil, um, uh, boat village idiot pigs evil, uh, get him. Alex? Well, I disagree with those idiots because I'm an idiot as well. And although I haven't selected myself, I have selected somebody and got a naughty boy. But I'm going to hold on to that for now. And I'd like to get some more information. So if these other wow. idiots want to come form a club, can we talk tomorrow? Question mark. Well, guess we'll find out. Takes six votes this time to put Alex up for execution. Starting now. While this is going around, at least one of those is a lie because I did tell Ek and I picked you and got evil as well. Um, it seemed funny at the time. <laughs> um, but I'm happy voting for this because they have four village idiot claims right now. So. Yeah, well, we do have yeah. quite a lot. Seven yeah, votes do. is a plenty. Alex is about to die. Is... Would it mind being public that we can nominate? Because I've heard of some... I've heard George was a leech. Alex that also, <laughs> that also works. Go on. I was going to keep my information quiet, but George was my evil pick um, yesterday in terms of getting that information when I went and licked his windows. And as we've heard earlier, some people have been making up fake information about me. If we do, if we do take me out here, the other idiot won't know if they're drunk or not. So I definitely need to get information for a couple of days and <coughs> don't kill me in the night. George. Uh, firstly, how dare you? Secondly, I'm also a village idiot, and you didn't tell me that in our very, very long chat today. We could have been nice tonight, because um, I told you. Uh, thirdly, I'm sat next to you. I didn't vote for you. Let's maybe look after each other a little bit here, because, you know, things... <laughs> I, I'm not... You know, if there's an evil thing on you, I, I want to keep that nice and calm. Thank you very much. Uh, no thank you. Big no thank you to this. All right, well, seven votes will tie, and eight votes would put George up for execution instead. Starting now. Big no thank you. How big a no thank you? As big as necessary. Six. Wow. This is not enough. That's not tight. Six is not tie enough. It. Hey, oh, Hob, can you do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Uh, can you claim Village Idiot? Um, please, just, 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 I don't like to hold up for today. Sure, I'm an idiot. Excellent. Okay, that's made my grim much more symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing of all. Well, this now is we... the final call for nominations. Now we can figure out who the other village idiots are based on the symmetry argument. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll nominate, uh, I'll nominate Brockwell. Uh, Alex is my neighbor and has an evil thing on him, so we should probably move this. <laughs> um, I think that's more than enough reason to keep the, the execution where it is. Right, well, I think everything that could possibly have been said has been said. So, take seven to tie and eight to die, starting now. I, I would have voted for that if it hadn't... Yeah, that's just hilarious. <laughs> Brockwell, I think I think you were lied to. Um, if that had been that... my other neighbor, I would have voted there. <laughs> just for, because I appreciate yeah, it. All right, yeah. well. Two votes. Not enough. Not even close. Uh, um... About three seconds left. Two. All right, Alex. You are executed. And you die. Good night. All right, that is a not terrible kill, honestly, for town. Um, Alex was our drunk village idiot. I do really like that this is now gonna give Arif a lot of questions about whether or not he's actually the sober one, because he's not gonna know, they're not necessarily going to be able to balance that. And until George knows potentially that he's the lunatic, it'll be a big mystery. So let's go find out who our sailor's picking. There's already so many of them. There's so many. It really worries me. <laughs> the Max is... Oh, hey. Hello. <laughs> Alright. Right. Who I'm not is sure it what happened with Um... 
I like picking powerful rolls to stay alive. So, but I didn't speak to that many people yesterday. Hmm. Let's move it from Brockwall and pick... Let's pick Lorinda, my neighbor. Lorinda, you got it. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Ooh, this is really spicy because depending on who... I might wait and see who JC picks because if JC picks someone that won't die, like let's say Brockwell, for example, or Hob even, we could frame a minstrel day by having the Harpy Madness not go through, which is absurd, but something that could happen and something that would confuse the heck out of George, which is always a good plan when you're trying to make a lunatic think that they're a lunatic. So I think I'm gonna hold off on deciding who is gonna be drunk from that sailor pick and just see how the rest of the night plays out and then make a call, I think a little bit later, depending on what, what's happened. And I think Lorinda's actually next. So let's, um, yeah, let's do that. Hello. Hey. Who's it gonna be? Um, so I'm in a weird trust circle with Sam and Amy Rose. Um, I want to be able to vote with them, so I'm going to make Sam mad that Brockwell is evil, and then they get to vote first. Okay, so Sam is mad that Brockwell is evil. Yeah, and hopefully Sam it. and Amy Rose will vote on it, and I can follow them. Cheers. Cool. Oh, this is the best thing in the world. Okay, so Lorinda is now goon drunk, which means that Brockwell is evil. And it means that Brockwell, okay, so Sam is not going to find out about that Harvey Madness, which means that we could actually insanely make Hob sober because a drunk Harpy still picks. So, oh my goodness. So that is an evil goon. Um, and I think we'll keep Hob sober because Lorinda's drunk anyways. But yeah, that'll be a little bit tough for Lorinda because Sam's not going to be mad about Brockwell, but Brockwell's going to be evil. Oh, and this is really, this is so interesting. Oh, that's a good point. Someone said, well, yeah, if I make Hob drunk, it looks more like a minstrel day. Yeah, I think, I think there's almost definitely going to be a kill. Yeah, well, let's go tell Brockwell the, the fun news. Um, <laughs> yeah, some things to think about. Hi! Hello. Guess what team you're on? Uh, hopefully it's just Evil Goon and not Evil Van Goo. Well, um, yes, you're, you are, if, if we were playing in person, I'd be uh, tapping you on the shoulder right now and giving you a big thumbs down. You cool. are very evil. What and that's are. all. Thank you very yep. much. Cool. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Excellent. All right, yeah, I don't think it's going to look like a minstrel day. So I think, um, yeah, I'll, there's no reason to, to decide <laughs> that where that drug's going to be now. Let's get George's kill and then JC's, and then we'll figure out who's going to be drunk between Hob and Lorinda. We will worry about that later. <laughs> hey. Hello. I'm, I'm a bit worried about how yesterday went. <laughs> I'm not convinced that Alex is uh, not a dead minion right now. Well, um, but it's fine. Sure, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I would like to try to kill uh, Brockwell, please. Brockwell, you got it. Thank you. Cheers. That is unreal because if George went, so literally the heartbeat goes right before the lunatic. If George went first, then Brockwell would be good. But instead, George is just unaffected. Like, oh, and what's also insane is that because the goon was already picked, JC is going to know, if he thinks about this carefully, he's going to know that someone else picked Brockwell er earlier in the night. He won't know if Brockwell is good or evil, but he'll know that George is lear he's learning George's pick, so George cannot have been the first person to pick Brockwell. That's insane. Okay, cool. Let's go find out who JC picks. Hey. Hello. I um I have something interesting to tell you. 
Oh, fun. Which is that your lunatic has selected Brockwell. Brockwell. Hmm. What do we think about that? Um. I. So my theory was I don't want to kill anyone I spoke to. Uh, and I kind of spoke to Brockwell, but for like two seconds. So I don't know whether that counts or not. I'm not a huge fan of just going along with George's picks because if he ever picks me and I don't follow it, then that's just a giant beacon of evil. Um, it's whether I want to indulge him for a day or not first. Because the other part of it is that Alex is clearly... Oh, actually, rules question very quickly. Mm -hmm. If Hypothetically, if a drunk village idiot dies um, and a cannibal is in play... The cannibal is still sober for the ability, right? They are, they are not drunk. Yes. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, and hopefully it won't bite me. Um, but if Alex has seen George as evil on a village idiot ping, then that means that he's the drunk one. And the prospect of killing Lorinda to poison Ekin, if Ekin is, is the sober village idiot, is tempting. Um... I also need to kill Amy and Tyler at some point, but Tyler made me promise that if I'm evil, I don't kill him straight away. Um, and Amy, I feel like Sam will know that it was me because she's claiming Night Watchman to everyone else. Uh, I think on balance, I'm going to kill Lorinda here. You kill um, Lorinda? Yes. Also, just as a heads up, because I'm leaving Tyler alive, there's a slight chance that I might I might be the execution for today, so that we can have a cannibal juggle, um, which could be a problem. Um, but cross that bridge. I'll just try and survive it, and then we'll go from there. Okay. I will say I can always um, make up some stuff about the cannibal juggle timeline if it helps. Because, oh, you know, we, technically, we had yeah, a discussion, like, last week I ruled we it the fun way. Yeah, but I haven't planning. said yet. Okay. okay. I haven't okay, said so yet. So I could just, I could, no, that's all good. I was going to say, though, like, in order to kind of save that bluff a little bit, I, I can definitely, you know, leave it in a space of like, oh, well, yeah, someone yelled at me for ruling it my own way. So I'm ruling it the proper way this time. <laughs> Oops, oh, sorry, really, you have to just way. not execute for a day. <laughs> R rule it the way that you find the most fun. True. But I think what's most fun is not throwing the demon under the bus on day two just because <sighs> of a tired. ruling that would otherwise be more fun. So, Okay, Fair so enough. Lorinda dies. Yes, I'll choose Lorinda. Wonderful. Please. All right, you got it. Thank Cheers. You. Okay, so that's going to be spicy because George isn't going to know why Brockwell... Oh my god, I really would be very intrigued if George came out to Brockwell and they thought that that was why Brockwell turned. Um, but this is actually quite nice because now I'll make Hob drunk because the person he picked is dead. So I think that on balance is, is all right. And we've got a dead Lorinda who has an ability. Let's drag myself over here. Woohoo, okay. And let's poison Ekin. I, but neither of these are like super strong poisons, unfortunately, for the evil team. But I think at least poisoning Ekin is going to create a little bit of confusion around minion deaths, anyways. All right, let's uh, let's see what else we got tonight. We hopefully don't have too much. Yeah, so we didn't kill an outsider yesterday. We've just got Arif to wake up. Sam's already gone, and then just Amy. So let's let's check in with Arif. Hey uh, there. Hello. Uh, can I pick Lorinda tonight, please? Lorinda. Please. You... You get evil. Oh, okay. I feel like you're trying to throw me off with the pausing and the... Mm -hmm, what should I give Arif? And I feel like I'm actually the sober one. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I, there's like ten village idiots. I hate it. <laughs> I don't know Thank what you're you. talking about. It's great. It's so fun. You've, you've got a little family. family. <laughs> I hope little, the viewers are enjoying a it. A regular old <laughs> crew of idiots. 
we're all idiots. That should be the we, atheist yep. game, right? The atheists and all village idiots. <laughs> it's, anyway. Is that better or worse than Big Barrel Ravens Would Drift, which is where everyone is either a fisherman or an atheist? Oh, that's One really, day we'll play no, that. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that script is actually so weird and <laughs> so, good. so good. Anyways, yeah. We, cool. To, I'll spare Thank chat you. for now, but yep. Cool. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Let's, uh, let's give Amy Lorinda... No, sorry, Arif. What am I talking about? Because Arif's got true information on Lorinda, and Lorinda's dead, and I think that's gonna like either tell Arif like, "Hey, Alex was the sober one." You're, I, it, it, it gives worlds. I think that's good. I think that's reasonable. And Ekin is now. Ah, oh, we have to wake up Tyler. Oh my goodness, let's wake up Tyler really quickly. Um. Oh, it's so hard to remember Cannibal. Hey. Hello. Could you pick a player for me, please? Ooh, pick a player. Okay, hold on one second. Let's see. Uh, Sailor, Village Idiot, Snake Charmer, Knight. Well, okay. Um, I uh, let's see. Okay, so, um, I will pick. Let's pick Ekin. Ekin. Yeah. Good. Cool. Thanks. I'm so excited awesome all right that okay that's good that's fair Ooh, we could give now i'm torn because we could give tyler instead of Arif. what do we think chat i think tyler would actually be really good um cool all right yeah let's let's do that let's um let's tell amy rose to talk to tyler tomorrow i think that's that's pretty balanced hey we're back. We're good. Let's we go. are. We are back. Um, and tomorrow, uh, we we might want to talk to Tyler. Hmm. Interesting. I'm guessing that Tyler is a cannibal and has used to nightwatch my things successfully. Thank you very much. All right. Cheers. Cool. And I think yeah, y'all are absolutely right that. Um, leaving leaving that flexibility between which drunk village idiot yeah that is super important especially given that you know evil did a good job to kill a village idiot on the first day there's a huge amount of trust i think between sam and amy rose right now so this is going to be like that's going to be something that evil's going to be fighting against i think basically all game so all right let's uh let's wake him up let's see how this goes that um that's our night <laughs> morning everyone Except Lorinda, who died in the night. No, Everyone else is alive, though. Mm -hmm. Tyler's all just dying. Actually... No, they're not. Oh. Well, from, you know, sorry. Just just stay in your, your basketball court. <laughs> I'll stay on the football court. I just want to see if I... Like a night, night priestess. Me and Sam are night priestess. Okay. I'll put you down as the very elusive night priestess. Thank you. Um, and okay. we saw you. Okay. So just um, you. you saw me? Yes. As mm. a night priestess, we saw you. Okay. Do also, you... I realized that I told chat that I thought that you were the cannibal that had eaten the Night Watchman, but I already know there's a Night Watchman, and they didn't get executed, so that's a very silly question. Are you the cannibal? Because you were juggled as a cannibal by JC, who I think is the juggler. Uh, sure. I'm the cannibal. Okay. And what did you eat? Because I'm interested as to what Alex is. I ate a uh, village idiot, like you said in town. Okay. Nice. And did you get a good or an evil? Uh, I got a good, and um, you know what? Let's put cards on the table and see what happens. I was harpy mad yesterday that Alex was evil. Interesting. So okay. I. So, uh, yeah, so Interesting. I am probably the, a big reason Alex got killed, which is fine for me, right? Because it works for my role to get people killed. So, yeah. Okay. So Ekin said that they saw Alex as evil. So Ekin, if they are a village idiot, is incorrect from the basis that we're thinking. That... So I'll, I'll, I'll tell something. you that, I'll tell you that my first conversation yesterday was, was with Ekin. So. Right. Okay. Fair. Um, so I have been seen by, uh, the dead village idiot. Good. I saw you as evil. 
Therefore, I'm probably the drunk one in that. Uh, I mean, it is, from your perspective, probably 50-50. Obviously, it's a bit more than 50-50 for me, because I know the answer, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Um, are you are you comfortable claiming, to, I guess, both of us? And Jams, and Jam. I can leave if you want. Yeah, I was a village idiot who saw Amy. It was good. Oh, okay. Oh. Sorry, yeah. I thought that was out there. So are we the, th we're the three, then? No, I've got, I've got a fourth... Well, Hard claim, hard claim. I've got two more hard claims. I think I think there's a pixie somewhere as well. That makes sense. Um, oh, bro, mm. Lorinda, if you're if you're a Vigor kill minion, Have you I would ever claim been evil, Arif, in the history of this game. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm gonna go. Uh, Sam wants to speak to me. Thanks. Can okay. confirm Thanks, that Lorinda's literally never ever been evil, ever. Thank you, James. I appreciate no, that. Never. Okay. <laughs> bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I think he was saying it was like um symmetrical that way. Cool. Okay. Um Yeah, I will probably pick you tonight, see what yeah. happens there. Um, yeah, I don't think any things have checked me yet, so it makes sense to try and work out some more drunkenness and stuff to go for some of the village idiot claims. Yeah. I have no idea whether Alex is actually a village idiot. Um if he is, then I assume he's drunk. But... Yeah, one of the village idiots has had an evil ping on him. Yeah. They could be the drunk. Yeah. Or one of the several lying village idiots, because there must be loads. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yes, I sort of assume that like, if there is a Saranovus who picked village idiot last on night one, oh. they probably kept it on night two, right? So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Thank you, right, Kellen. Thank Keep you. Later. This is really just a town of idiots. It's great. All right. Let's, um, yes, marriage. Right. If only there were a social deduction convention in, um, you know, I don't know, Coventry, perhaps, where we could all hang out and play this lovely game. I will be there. Who else will be there? <coughs> Patters will be there. Marriage Joy will be there. Maybe some other people in chat will be there. This is, um, yeah, lots, lots of good stuff going on. This is, all right. Let's, um, Let's maybe get him back to town, though. I think it's about that time. Oh, Tyler! I didn't get to ask you a silly question. Tragic. It wasn't a silly question. I don't think it was a silly question at all. I think it was pretty, a pretty good question. All right, Tyler, I'm going to have to ask you publicly because uh, I didn't get a chance to chat to you. On a scale of 1 to 5, how easy would the object in your token be to juggle? <laughs> how easy would the object... Oh, okay. <laughs> um... One's, so wait, what's the hardest? Is five uh, one is one is hard? easy, five is hard. Uh, I would say, I don't know, like a three maybe. Okay. Cool. S Sam, is it bad that I wouldn't give my one a one? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Ekin. Sorry, I was trying to type a message to George and put my hand up. <laughs> uh, we've literally all been there. I wave my hand all the time and people are like, what's going on? And I, I have no idea. Anyways, um, now is your chatting time and um, imminently your nomming time. So do we still have four village idiots? I have uh, no, we, we have, have five idiots. Oh, have we got five. Five. We've got more. <laughs> have Did someone say six? I think yes. six. Yeah, I think we've got about six. six. I was strong on two of them today. Have you taken Hob off that list? Yeah, five without Ekin. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> that makes more oh, sense. Oh, I actually have... I, I just realized that I have sex now. Never mind. Is Ekin I, no longer just, on this list? No, I think I'm back to five. Should I be marking down everyone who I don't have a token against as a village idiot? Yes. Okay. Can I nominate George? Yeah. Um, I trust Alex for reasons that have gone around in the circle uh, that I've learnt today, and I think Alex's information from yesterday we need to act upon, and that says that George is evil. George? Um, if Alex is actually a really good idiot, he made no attempt to, like, tell me this on day one during our massive chat, where we could have coordinated really good information. I told uh, you. I, really I told you you were my marionette if you wanted me to be. You told me you were the noble. Go away. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is. I mean, look, fine. If it if it gets other people to stop playing really good after I die, that would be quite nice. But um, 
Otherwise, I'd like to keep getting my information. All right, it takes five votes to put George up for execution, starting now. Pertinent, George is very probably not the leech. Well, I don't know. I have a token on my a grim from yesterday that just says George, uh, comma, leech next to Alex. So I, don't, <laughs> I don't really remember why. That but, sounds really well, convincing. five <laughs> votes is enough. George is about to die. Why, like, why would George you stop claiming evil. village idiot if you died, George? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Hopefully, if I'm a dead person still claiming village idiot, like, it means there's less... If I'm, if it becomes clear I'm serious about it and not just like covering for like an outsider in a fangu world or something like that. <coughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's fair. Uh, Jason... I want to point out that I feel really bad for a pexy village idiot. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> right. Who uh, would Jason do such a thing? Jason. <sighs> okay. Anything you want to say about that? Yeah. Um. So I have a claim of cannibal. I don't fully. Like, I don't mechanically definitely trust it, but for now, I'm willing to test it. I'm a spent juggler, so if we could, like, if we if we want to nominate George instead, then that's fine. Um, but otherwise, if we want to move me on the block and then a whole bunch of random ass people juggle stuff so that the evil team doesn't know who the cannibal is, that's fun. Fair enough. Takes five to tie, six to die, starting now. Was did your info make sense, JC? I actually think we're better off executing George for uh, for um, for cannibal information. Uh, um, I yeah. got I it's got a number. No, it's not. Never mind. I lied. Four is not enough. George is still on the block with five. Um, so you got what? I got a three. Um, okay. So, given that that included George's leech, um, that means one of the four I was hoping to get right. Uh, is not correct. Amy, is there anything you wanted to say? Yeah, I was just going to say, if we do execute George and maybe pick the same person, um, because then they can learn like what happens, what changes between the two. Uh, that, would, that would suck. All right. Any last nominations? Uh, oh. No, but I do have a rules question. Yeah. Um, if a cannibal eats a village idiot who is drunk, they gain a sober village idiot ability, correct? Correct. However, if it's a marionette or a drunk who thinks they're the village idiot or an evil player, then I can give that cannibal <clears throat> whatever I want if there's one in play. Yeah. Cool. Just wanted to check. Final call for nominations. If not, I'll close the day in 10 cannibal seconds. Cannibal eating village idiots is fun. All right, George, you are brought before the town. Apparently, they do not like idiots in this town, in spite of the fact that everyone wants to be one. You are bonked over the head. You are executed. And you die. And I have some news about the game. It continues. Good night. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nice try, Gams. I knew. Uh, I knew. Gams. <laughs> yeah, he did know, but it's still fun to mess around with it. And technically, there was a world where Lorinda died to, I don't know, a gamble, maybe. Well, they're, they're bluffing. Uh, not gambler, so maybe not that. Anyways, um, yeah, happy with that because Ellen now gets a kill. So we'll stick a little die today token on George. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go to Hob and then Lorinda and then just JC and Ellen. All right, let's do it. Hello. Hello. All right. I feel like Arif's had a rough day and needs a drink to calm down. So I'm going to drink with Arif. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, I like that. So I think depending on who Arif picks, it may be useful to use that. So I'm just going to temporarily stick that token on Arif for now. And then, all right, Lorinda is next. Hey. Hi there. Um, let's make Hob mad about Arif being evil. 
Hob is mad that Aerith is evil. Excellent. Yep. Thank you. You got it. Oh, this is this is great because no one was harpy mad yesterday, and this is going to be confusing as heck. And yeah, this is also nice because Hobbs just picked Aerith. So yeah, that I'm happy with the way that's gone. Hey. Hey. Um, I am so so glad that you have decided to share your um, lovely wealth of beverages with good friend Aerith tonight. Um, on a completely unrelated note, you are mad that Aerith is evil. Oh, what a coincidence. That's perfect. Thank Fancy you very that. much. Yep. Cool. <laughs> oh, I love that. All right, cool. So that's our harpy and our sailor done. Our lunatic is dead. So I believe that's just our cannibal now who's going to go when the lunatic went in the night order because then the demon gets to learn who the cannibal picked, which is amazing because it tells the demon who the cannibal is. I love that deeply. I think JC actually knows who, yeah, Tyler claimed to JC. So less relevant, but still very fun interaction. And yeah, let's have Tyler pick a player. Hey. Hey. Could you pick a player for me, please? Yes, and I just wanted to confirm that I heard you correctly, that if I eat a village idiot, it doesn't matter if they're drunk or sober. I just get the regular village idiot ability. Correct. Okay, cool. Um, oh, okay, I think I trust JC. I know about Ekin. Um, let's just shoot blind and pick Ellen. Ellen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye, that's all. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that because it doesn't confirm lunatic to Tyler. It's just um, that they're not. They could be a snake charmer, um, but it's not a village idiot, which I think is is quite fun and informative. And thank you. Yes, uh, Lorinda is no longer goon drunk because they've not picked Brockwell, so that goon drunk goes away until someone else picks the goon, and Brockwell stays evil for the time being. All right, so now we are gonna tell <laughs> JC that uh, Tyler is the lunatic and that the lunatic has selected Ellen. And then get a pick. Hey! Hello! I have a couple things to tell you. Uh -huh. um, so first things first, uh, you learn that Tyler is the lunatic. Oh, yes, I suppose I do. And uh, your lunatic has selected Ellen. Could you pick a player, please? Okay, that's fun. Um, I... Ellen... <laughs> oh, it's complicated because I don't necessarily love the idea of us outing a godfather here. Ellen and I had a conversation right before town came back where she said that Hob was a good kill, but I don't know whether she's going to do that and whether I should double up on that or go elsewhere. Um, and there's still the issues of Tyler and Amy both being very killable roles. Um, I feel like, I think you probably were in a side chat at the time, but I was asked what my juggles were in the night and conspicuously stopped as I started to say the name Tyler. So I think I might be able to use that as cover to off the cannibal at this time. So I'm going to kill Tyler, I think, please. And we'll find out what happens with there being a second kill on or whatever later, I guess. Cool. That sounds good. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. I think that's quite good. I think that's also a lot of cover for JC because JC already knew that Tyler was the cannibal, whereas a demon who didn't know previously would be getting that information for the first time because of the lunatic ability. So that might, we'll see how that, you know, how that factors in for our evil team here. Um, right now, Ellen gets to wake up because an outsider has been murderized. Okay. Let's see who she picks. Hey. Hello. An outsider has been murdered. Yeah. I've just been deciding how much to do with this. Um, so I told JC I think he should kill Hob because I feel like there's a few things pointing to Hob being good. So I'm hoping he's gone that. And I'm, but if we clash, it's just going to hide the fact that there's a godfather. So it'll be all fine. I'll get up. Um, 
I've also been deciding whether to try and frame JC with the idea that I'll end up going down at some point, but I've, um, yeah, I don't know. I think, oh, because I think Aris getting really good information, but I think that I'll probably die straight away if we kill the village idiots. So I will kill Sam. All right, Thanks. Sam, you cool. got it. Yeah, thank Thanks. you. Wonderful. Oh, I love that. That's great. Because Sam was, I think there's a lot of trust with Amy Rose and Sam. And Sam, even though Lorinda is evil, Lorinda, I think, is confirming Sam. So, yeah, happy with that. That's going to be good information for town because they're going to find out about the Godfather. And it's going to be interesting with the Outsider Count because the Outsider Count might point to a Vig or not. But we'll see. Um... But yeah, I think that actually just leaves us with Arif, who is currently drunk because of Hob and Amy Rose. So let's get Arif now. Hey. Hello. I'm still alive. You are still alive. Who's it going to be? Uh, I'm going to pick Brockwell, please. Brockwell, you get evil. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh, I really hope I am the drunk one now. This is the the chaos and the madness that this role gives me. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Cool. And that's our goon good again. This is absolutely bonkers. Hey. Hello. Uh, you're on the good team. Okie dokie. Cool. Yep. Uh, what an adventure. Good news for me. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yep. All right. So that's our goon back to good, and um, yeah, that's an that's an interesting one. Well, what's funny is that Arif was drunk. I think I might make Hob drunk actually because Arif just turned the goon. Um, yeah. Let's um. Let's give let's give Amy Arif. Because I think that'll that could go both ways. It could point them to the goon, or it could point them to somebody that they think is worth killing. Yeah, not not mad about it. Let's let's give let's give it, yes all of my token integrity. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yo 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 yo. Um, you should talk to Arif tomorrow. Mm interesting indeed i think i'm innkeeper drunk okay thanks bye see ya all right i just noticed i need to get a stronger computer charger so we're gonna start this day and i'm gonna go do that let's see how it goes morning town um some of you had a rough night, uh, and in fact, uh, Sam did not make it through the night. Tyler didn't mm. either. Dang it. Ooh. The rest Wait, of you wow. are alive, though. What's oh. up? Ooh. Lunatic? Cool. Yeah, lunatic. Oh, okay. lunatic. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Wait, George, who, just, who just said lunatic? George. George. Says a guy. Oh. Oh, Let fuck. Can someone leech. find out? Can someone find out whether the token he saw was leech? Because if it was, then that's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. JC, should we chat? Yeah, sure thing. Rockwell, never mind. So you just got George's evil, Alex? Uh, yeah, I picked him. And was told evil. If he's okay, a so lunatic, you're drunk. I'm drunk. Yeah, you're drunk. Um, there's not really any other way for a second kill. That's what I'm just looking through. Yeah. Marionette? Awesome. Have to be Who was Marionette? Marionette. I can't be Marionette. All, the, all three of them are dead. Oh, you mean George Marionette? No, it doesn't work with a second kill. Um, we don't have enough outsiders as it is. So. No. Sam, I can think I've got a match from this weird sort of sense. Yeah, sure, I can. A 
of three and obviously george's leech isn't right i thought eleanor's village idiot was probably the false one but if you're actually the night watchman then that then that would mean sam night watchman would be the false one yeah so uh, say i was the high priestess and sam was the night watchman okay um then it would make ellen and george the wrong ones is that right yeah it would make one of ellen and tyler plus george and okay. given that we've got six village idiot and claims and tyler night, just died at I was night, the night watchman, then it would make both of them telling the truth yeah okay that's fine. I'm happy to work with that information. I still can't confirm which one I am. Uh, That's fine. Yeah. I don't. I literally. I'm a juggler. It makes no difference to me <laughs> beyond like obviously whether like I've. It basically, I'll be able to judge it by whether or not you think Ellen is a good execution. I think, and mm. beyond that, it doesn't matter to me. And you can get on with either getting high priestess info or mourning the fact that Sam can't get it anymore. Mm. Okay, bro. Thank you. Love you, sir. Cheers, Amy. Okay, there we go. We have plugged the laptop into a better charger. Let's go, yeah, find out what's happening in this day. Have a proc on Alex or George, and in fact, we got, got a godfather kill off of George, so... Uh... So, so last night, I thought I was making a pick as a village idiot. Uh, okay. So I picked Ellen, and then uh -huh. James was like, okay, great, that's it. Tyler, you did the lunatic did pick. Yeah, the lunatic I didn't, pick. but I didn't know. But Ellen didn't die. So as the no, as Ellen the... is evil. Ellen is part yeah, of the that, jungle as saying. the village idiot. And okay. uh, if you are the actual cannibal, um, then Ellen is evil. Yeah, yeah. So let's we should kill Ellen, and then that should either we win or that should proc you. Exactly. So evil won't get to kill. Yeah. So, all right. Um, we have a I'm plan. gonna. Yeah, great. I'm gonna come out and say all of my stuff. Not your stuff. Okay. Um, Checks awesome. out. Let's do it. Thanks, Ekin. Thank you. Oh, I love that. Because if they kill Ellen today, Ekin is poisoned because of Lorinda. And so there's not going to be a menstrual day, which is going to hopefully not put sus on JC. It'd be interesting if it did. Um, but yes, we are rejoicing because the laptop is charging. Uh, but I think I think it might be time for, for town. This is the part of the game where I actually sometimes like to bring people back after what feels like too short of a day, in part because good doesn't deserve all the time in the world to solve, but also because I think it forces the players to actually like really talk as a group. And that sometimes can help players who have been a little bit left out of trust circles learn more about what's happening during the game. But yeah, let's let's do that. Hi, George. Maybe panic. Like Hello, yeah, Megan. I think maybe that Vigor Poison World is actually the case, to be honest. Could I, could I share some information? Yeah, sure. please. Um, cool. So I think half of the people know, but I was the cannibal. Um, I told people I was the... Or I told everybody but the juggler, luckily, that I was the uh, village idiot on the first day because I was harpy mad that Alex was evil. Um, on, uh, after Alex died, I woke up and I learned that a player was good. Uh, they're still alive, so there's no reason for me to share that right now. And then last night I thought I was making another village idiot choice. And then uh, James was like, okay, you can go. And I was like, oh, well that sucks. I don't get anything. So I thought George was the snake charmer, but apparently lunatic. So I picked Ellen and Ellen did not die. I mean, obviously, you know, the demon knew I was the cannibal, so. Well, but no, you would, have just been, you would have just been making a demon pick, not a snake charmer pick. Well, no, 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 I'm saying in the moment I, th like, right, I okay. thought, I, I thought George was the snake charmer because I didn't realize George was the lunatic. But, uh, I still think it's, I don't know, I think it's interesting that Ellen didn't die. Um, anyway. I mean, they know that you know that you're not the lunatic, so I Correct. they don't yeah. need to follow Correct. I'll, I'll just get, get my information out there so everyone can be clear on exactly what kind of lunatic I am. Uh, so I saw the Vigor Mortis token, uh, I was showing a popular game, obviously, because of course. Uh, I tried to kill Brockwell on night two, and it did not work. Yeah. Um, so, 
the thing I want to say is Ellen was Ooh. part of the juggle and um, the number doesn't check out. So I think killing Ellen today makes a lot of sense. I, For what it's worth, I have conflicting info on whether or not one part of the juggle is meant to check out or not. So my juggle um, is either confirming or not confirming Ellen. <laughs> At, at this point, JC, I feel like because both myself and Tyler are dead, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and out that, yeah, the juggle should have been myself, Tyler, and yourself in three, and okay. not including Ellen. Okay, I um, thought that was, but Amy was persuading me otherwise earlier. Yeah, I, I think just, I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure on you, JC, I, I'll be honest, uh, and that's why okay. I was being cagey. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm but, just gonna uh, juggle. Can I... Let's just, we, that's a yeah. really easy problem to solve. Uh, it was more your defense of George and that made me feel a bit funny about it, but I can see exactly where you're coming from. Um, I think Brockwell is a good kill today. Uh, I think Brockwell's been seen as evil by uh, some village idiots that uh, are trusted, and uh, I think that uh, they confirm other people that it works with the worlds, and to be honest, I think that's the best kill. Well, nominations are open. Kill. Well, I'll no, nominate Brockwell. Nominate okay um mainly for the reasons i've said uh there's a village idiot that seems to be sober that's got brockwell's evil um it tracks i don't know i mean i'm, I'm willing to hear defenses that's the way i think it's not a good kill uh but it seems to track with other village idiot picks that uh we're building worlds around brockwell Anything um, you want to say? It's yeah, it's it's not going to be a good kill um, because we'd have a extra kill at night. I have been evil, um, but I am now good. Wait, when did you turn? Well, uh, back last night. Takes four votes oh, to put Rockwell yeah, that on the block. Track. That would track. No. We should. Ah. I think this uh, is a mistake. Yes, that would explain uh, yeah, right, then, the demon I... not killing Brockwell because they wouldn't know I'd chosen him. Yeah. Add off the tracks. When did you turn, Rockwell? Night two. Yeah. That, that doesn't track. Doesn't track. Right. That, that doesn't, doesn't track uh, either. One vote's not uh, enough. Any other noms? I'll nominate I'll Ellen. Nom Sorry. Um, but it does track with a missing out of Hyphen Madness, right? In terms of. Uh, yeah, I just actually, yeah. I was about to say. Well, um, anything else you yeah. want to say? There is a juggler um, conflicting info on Ellen. I think Ellen makes the most sense for today's kill. Ellen? Um, yeah, it's probably not too bad. I've had a fair bit of information. I am one of the village idiots. If we need to kill me today, then that's fine. All right. Well, it takes four votes to put Ellen on the block, starting now. Could other living players vote so we don't have to Yeah. Vote on this? I'll vote for a dead vote. Okay. Um, so, Brockwell, you're saying you turned back last night. Four yes. votes is enough. And, when, and he turned evil on night two. Yeah. Yeah, which tracks with mm. a missing, uh, tracks the missing out of, har of Harpy info, but doesn't track with a demon not wanting to follow the lunatic. Last call. For Can I nominate Aerith, please? Yeah. I did warn him before this, uh, and I'm sorry, Ellen or Amy, uh, but I'm the gambler, and I gambled Aerith as the marionette. So it's one of you and Aerith. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, yep, let's get him. I think Arif. I think we're sorry. I think we're living in a bigger world. Um, I think you've been bigger poisoned. My information I think yeah. checks out, especially since Brockwell just came out as the evil now turned good goon. So you're bigger poisoned, bud. Well, mm, that's convenient. Four votes to tie <laughs> and five votes to put True. it on Arif instead. Starting on Ellen now. I love the idea that you gambled Arif as a marionette and lived, so we should lift it off of one of his neighbours. I know. What if it's Amy? No, don't. What? That it could be the marionette. All right, <laughs> two is <laughs> not <laughs> enough. Fine, you're Amy Rose's marionette. No problem. I think I trust Ellen though with her picks. This is a problem. Closing the uh, day in five. I've also you. heard I of an innkeeper. I think it would be a good kill here. as well. Is the evil hey, team all, the innkeeper? Innkeeper. all along the top? Ellen, oh, so. you are executed. And you die. And Arif, I have very bad news for you. 
No. Uh, which I... is that the game continues. Go to sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. That was, that was always... All right. This is this is good fun. Um, so we've got six alive, potentially going down to five. Um, this I think this is pretty balanced so far. This I really like the script. I think the village idiot fits in quite nicely. But yeah, let's. I love that play from Hob, the gambler marionette. That was really clever, Harpy Madness. Really good fun. Uh, but yeah, let's find out who he who's drinking with. Um. Hey. Hey. That was delightful, Harpy Madness. By the way, I was just telling Chad how much I liked it. <laughs> it's really, really clever. Oh, I really wanted to know if Arif, if there was a chance that I was sober and I could just break Harpy Madness and kill Arif. Hmm. I didn't have the chance to ask. Um. I don't want to pick Amy because I think I'll be drunk. There's no point in picking Brockwell. I'll pick Ekin, please. Ekin, you got it. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, that's fun. I think what's interesting is that if it were really a minstrel night, we'll, we'll keep Hob drunk because Ekin's already poisoned. If it were actually a minstrel night, then that pick wouldn't matter because the minstrel would have already kicked in. But because Lorinda's poisoning Ekin, we're, yeah, we'll leave that on Hob. All right, and then Lorinda is next. Hey. Yeah, hi, this is difficult. Um, I was looking at the night order sheet. If they keep picking Brock, I'll keep turning back. Uh, well, the only thing that goes before um, is you is Sailor and Innkeeper and Gambler and Snake Charmer. Yeah, which is Hob claims. Which actually, that's a lot of things. But... Um, I'll make myself mad about Arif being evil. You're mad about Arif being evil. Okay. Sorry, uh, I'm mad about Amy Rose being evil. You're mad about Amy Rose being evil. Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you. All right. Um, you, the harpy has selected you. You're mad that Amy Rose is evil. Thank you. Yep. Okay, I quite like that because I think if they break that, I will kill Amy Rose. Um, just, we'll see how the day's going, but yeah, that's, that's reasonable. They're definitely doing that intentionally. Um... All right, and then it's just just our Vig and potentially our village idiot and or our high priest both. All right. Hey. Hello. Who is gonna die? I was hoping Hob would be a frame and he might be Vigor poisoned for all I know, but I don't know whether he's the sailor or the innkeeper or the gambler, but regardless, he currently has the ability to mock Brockwell in as good and me no likey so let's kill hob please hob you got it thank you all right i quite like that i think that's balanced because brockwell's gonna stay good um which oh this is tough because i think socially ekin has a lot of support but i think maybe amy talking to brockwell would be the most useful thing here and that also might just be fun for her because she might go in circles going like, did I get you because you turned evil or did I get you because you stayed good? Um, and I think that could be fun. So let's give, let's give Amy Brockwell, I think. Hey. Hello. Perhaps Brockwell would be a good person to talk to tomorrow. If, if Brockwell's turned evil and you're sending me to... <laughs> Guess then... you'll find out, huh? Can I can I point to Rockwell? Oh, I was the first person to pick the game. Ah! Okay, you bad. unfortunately do not have a, a pointing ability, but yes. you are yeah, you, you, you are receiving. Right. No, I have right. yes. Um, I am I am neutral. I if I point at the I mean can you imagine if that was like part of storytelling? If like if you as the storyteller point at the goon, then you get a drink. Like that'd be amazing. <laughs> I love it. All right. All right. Cool. Later. Ah, uh, this is good. Yes, I think y'all are completely right. Oh, yes, we do need to wake up Arif. Thank you for that. I always forget something. Um, all right, let's get that quickly. This is going to be... Hello. Hello. Oh, I don't know who to pick. Um, JC or Amy. JC or Amy. I mean, either way, I feel like it's it's game solving. I could pick Brockwell again, but if Brockwell's not been picked, I don't. I, it'll, you'll just tell me whatever if Brockwell's the good um I'm gonna pick JC I think okay and hope and hope that I'm a marionette if if <laughs> if Amy's the demon uh JC you get evil oh god 
Okay. Oh. Thanks. Yep. Ooh, that's spicy. That's really, really good. And I think that's honestly the power of the village idiot right there in a nutshell. Like that. <laughs> Look at Eric with that face in his hands. I love that. All right, this is this is going to be great. I think this will be quite close. I think given that pick, if Lorinda starts to say that Amy is good, I will absolutely kill Amy. But yeah, I think Ekin's going to look super sus unless they solve Vig Poison, which is totally possible. Either way, super close game. And I think that this is going to be very fun no matter how this goes. Um, someone's asking if Arif ever got good. I think, yeah, Arif got good on Hob the very first night. And then, let's see, I actually don't remember who Aerith picked after that. Um, might have only picked evil people and then Brockwell, which drunked him. So, I mean, he's getting powerful information and Alex dying as the drunk one early, I think has been quite strong and, you know, played out nicely. So it's a good, it's a good balance. But yeah, let's, um, let's see. I, I could see JC potentially dying tomorrow to rule out a final day. But in that case, Lorinda might break madness and I would absolutely kill Amy Rose. So I think... We have we have some options. We'll see how it goes. But yeah. Yeah, I'd be surprised if that's the case. Okay. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, tragedy has once again. So I don't know why we all keep living here. Uh, but anyways, um, Hob is dead. No, no not me. Oh, I like that. I really like. That. Uh, I before everyone that. leaves, uh, I was harping about that Arif was evil yesterday. So yep. I didn't gamble Arif. Yep. No. Um, Hob, uh, did you do the thing that you told me you were going to do instead of gambling? Yeah, Aaron? that's a good point. Uh, no, but I'm the other one that makes people drunk. Oh. Hob. Right. <laughs> I'm just checking. <laughs> Sam, I don't know if I've uh, ever heard you sound so disappointed about anything. <laughs> um, but I do have some juicy info, Sam, if you want to talk. Sure. Alan, let's go check. Interesting. And I, I thought Aiken would be drunk and I would be sober. <laughs> yeah, no, that's 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 absolutely a reasonable assumption to make. Hmm. Um, I mean, unless we're in the worst of different meaning, I guess. Like for me, that is selling the big world because, mm. like, either Aiken is already drunk and you made yourself uh, already poisoned, you made yourself poisoned, or you're poisoned and can't make anyone else poisoned. It's night. <laughs> um, I thought I thought you were night watchman. I'm the Night Priestess. You're the Night Priestess. Yeah, me and Sam are one and the same. Okay. Cool. Um, so you're... Are you being confirmed by Lorinda? No, I don't trust Lorinda. Lorinda said that they were a village idiot that picked me. I'm confirmed by Ellen, also. Uh, I, just, I think the true village idiots are Arif Ellen. <laughs> Alex, Arif is the drunk one. Picked George, learned evil. Um, I think that we probably should kill you. I don't know whether I've just been shown the demon. Well, who was you shown? You! I, I'm starting to think this might be some last ditch effort, Amy, I'm afraid. <laughs> I get that vibe. I get that vibe. No, you can ask Sam. I claimed Village Idiot. Uh, Village Idiot? I claimed High Priest <laughs> from day one. Uh, we had a little chain of confirmation going because Sam uh, was the night watchman sent his ping out. I spoke to the person that the ping had uh, been sent to. Um, I then learned the cannibal. I then learned one of the village idiots that had learnt, picked, well, Arif, who picked you, turned you back good. Uh, none of which I could have known. So I have a true story. <laughs> and I think I, don't, I honestly don't, well. I, I don't have much information that's actually worth anything in this game, I'll be honest with you. Have you been I am good. No, I'm, I'm still the goon. I'm still the good goon. Um, You're still the good goon? Yes. Yeah, I have been for two nights. Um, I'm... The thing is, I am slightly believing the world, the world that you could be the vigor that has poisoned Hob via Lorinda. I think, I think Lorinda um, is evil, and I think someone's done it, but it's not me. It could be Ekin. I think... I don't trust JC. JC was I willing don't... to be executed on... When George was on the block. Three. Quite like, with more than one extra vote. True, true. Unlikely. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm, this is a mess, Gams. This is a mess. What's what's wrong? Uh, I guess, I guess apparently, I, Lorinda just blew up half of the claims of my group. And apparently, are claiming things that I thought they were not. So, um, what else is new? All right, thank you. Yep. Oh, interesting. I think Lorinda is as well. I think because. 
if we think that one of us is the drunk one, then it would yeah. be kind of good I to think, narrow down who else is. I think we might be sober in the world where Tyler cannibaled a fake village idiot. That's that's what I'm thinking. So so, so you got Ekin as. Oh, oh wait, that I don't mean Ekin is evil. I don't think we could both be sober because that's too many evil yeah, yeah, yeah. players, right? Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Well, it works if Brockwell is was the evil goon turned good, right? And that way, I always get Brockwell as evil. Yeah, you're always gonna get evil there. I think so. I think your information works on its own, but then it makes mine incorrect so I, I that's why i think it's one of us um yeah but then but then alex saw george as evil so then the george is very highly outsider yeah yeah unless there's nothing yeah. else that causes there's not been a puzzle master or anything or oh, there is an innkeeper they didn't pick alex did they that's a good question i don't know i've not spoken i guess the hob is claiming innkeeper but yeah no i, I haven't got so, yeah got i should picks. check who hob is actually i check back in with with tyler on that one about who we've met at um, but that does make sense that one would convince the other. Maybe a good time for a gong, James. My mm. finger was literally hovering. I have it set to G, because G for gong, that's how my brain works. Yeah. And it was hovering right over the little G. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alex, day one? Yes, I was mad about Alex, day one. Ekin, is that where you got the push from? Yes. Yeah, we talked first off. That so. makes sense. I will. I don't, I don't want to have to, but I would dead vote on Amy or Arif. Probably Amy. So, I have like here's the thing with here's the thing with Amy, time. right? Amy came to me very first thing, very first conversation, to ask why I had been uh, seen as the high priestess, and I told Amy after they'd confirmed that they'd seen me to go and speak to Lorinda. So Amy came out of the gate swinging, and looking at this circle, I can't see a better high priestess target. This is the best one. Can I also say I'm going to come out as the High Priestess now and tell you all of my information. Um, so I got Sam Knight 1, Sam Knight Watchman, sent a ping of you, made it public as to where it went, Sam? Uh, that went to Lorinda. Yeah, so then I spoke to Lorinda. Lorinda said that they were the village idiot, confirmed me as good. I don't know about that. Um, so then night 2, I got Tyler. Tyler uh, has come out publicly as a cannibal, ate a village idiot. Uh, said that they he picked somebody and learnt good. I was happy to not hear who. I don't know if that information is now public, Tyler. Um, but again, I couldn't have known that before going to Tyler. Then night three, I got Arif. Arif had picked Brockwell the claimed goon. Brockwell claimed that he had turned back good. There's no way again I could have known that information. Last night, I learnt Brockwell. So that's the only one that I'm funny about. I don't know why I've been sent to Brockwell. Potentially because Brockwell is not what they claim. Uh, Brockwell was seen as evil by Arif. Um, but that's the information that I have. And I don't think it's possible for me to have been bluffing that. Thank you. I just want to have a quick rules clarification. <laughs> is Everyone, hands up again. Village, really? um, <laughs> yes, cannibal. If the cannibal eats the drunk village idiot, they get sober information, correct? Yeah. Yes. What was the answer from earlier? Yeah. Cool. I was pretty sure it was. I just want to make sure. Thank you. That is correct. Sorry. Oh my Based goodness. on what I think is Tyler's information, I think I'm leaning towards Arif here. Maybe JC. I, so I got JC as evil last night. I realized that that makes me in direct conflict with JC. I also think Brockwell isn't what they claim. Um, Hop, I can I get your innkeeper picks, please? Uh, Hop, yeah. not innkeeper. I was to say yeah. that I picked, uh, uh, <laughs> I picked Brockwell night one, uh, then Lorinda the night Lorinda died, and then you the night I was harping that you were evil, and then last night Ekin. Yeah, um, just I think me the night that I picked Brockwell. I don't think that matters too much because you were either goon drunk or sailor drunk. Yeah, um, okay. I I think I'm I think if if Brockwell's evil, I think it makes sense to show you as Brockwell as evil that night because eventually it comes out that Hob is a sailor. I think last night's pick is really interesting, but I also think that based off of it, it's more confirming of Vig world over any Ek and evil world. If that's not if I'm not wrong, Tyler. Yeah, I I Ekin Ekin said in chat. Yeah, I picked Ekin, and that's why I was asking about a puzzle master because. Yeah. I think that's the only world where I could have bad info, so uh, I'm confirming I can escape. 
Unless Alex is evil. Yeah, Alex, Alex can't evil just be evil. Like, Alex is... Uh, oh, no, Alex can't be. Alex can't be. Harpy, Harpy Godfather. Um, yeah. Alex can't be. After Alex is dead. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely right. Okay, so that's fine. And that it does mean that the remaining village idiots where trustworthy are sober. That's really good to know. Yeah. The, Please the keep problem up the there discussion. Is... Nominations are also um, open. I will nominate Amy. Okay. The wrong nomination. <sighs> well... Sorry, I think this is our wig. Um, Ellen and Lorinda are both seeming to claim a Village Idiot confirming Amy as good. Uh, we still have too many Village Idiots uh, if Arif and Alex are also Village Idiots. Um, I think this is the wig. One of Ellen and Lorinda is the Harpy and the other is Godfather. Um, I think JC's information makes sense. Um, Amy could have just gotten lucky with her high priestess visits, especially if day one, if uh, she heard from Lorinda that uh, Lorinda got the Sam Ping first. Um, I know if, if it's the first chat, then maybe it's just luck, but um, I think this is our rig. Um, I trust JC and Brockwell. Um, and between Arif and Amy, Amy feels more evil to me. Amy? I guess we're in direct conflict. Uh, it's not me, and it's the wrong vote here. My information makes sense and it matches up. Um, I don't trust Ekin here, uh, and especially as they're backing up JC. Uh, I don't trust JC. Let's see who votes on this. Thanks. So all right, How do you explain my info, Amy? Grievance. Yeah, this is, this is what I'm wondering about, Amy. Your, your high priest info tells Amy you the Echo is good. On the block. By Tyler. Starting. No. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my, my info confirms Echo. That's the only thing I know yeah. for sure, unless. Um, and, in defense of Amy, okay, so... Amy has to get lucky. In defense of Amy, Amy has to get lucky twice. Once on me, once on Tyler, because I think we are the high priest. And Amy. then Arif well, as well. Yeah. Three I don't know about Arif, enough. but like, I think definitely me and Tyler are the right names, right? Amy's about to die. Um, yeah, Arif will nominate JC. Um, so, based on my information, uh, JC is my leading demon candidate. I think there is still a world where JC, potentially Alex or Lorinda, and maybe even Ekin, uh, one of Lorinda, Alex, and Ekin um, are the evil team, because um, that nomination on Amy felt really strange. Um, but um, I don't think the juggler number makes sense that JC's put out there. Um, I may have heard it. Uh, JC's my current leading demon candidate. Probably should have said that more eloquently. Hi, JC, anything you want to say? You're all good. Um, so I was happy to die day two when I self-nommed for the cannibal. I would have definitely been happy to die yesterday. It's a little more awkward today because from my perspective, I'm with Tyler and Ekin that I think Amy or Arif is the demon. Um, and neither of them are dying in the night, I'm sure of that much. Uh, so by executing me today, we're making it 50-50. Just to re-state uh, my juggler info for you, Arif, it was uh, Ellen as the village idiot, Sam as the night watchman, Tyler as the cannibal, myself as the juggler, George as the leech. I believe that the incorrect ones there are probably Ellen, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say George. Um, but it, like, yeah, there there is a world where Tyler is like Brockwell's marionette or something like that, but mm. that world is way more complicated than assuming one of the six people claiming Village Idiot was lying about it. Um, but yeah, if you want to execute me to rule this world out, then I I would rather be executed today than tomorrow, let's put it that way. All right, well, there's three votes on Amy, so three votes will tie, and four votes would put JC up for execution instead, starting now. I believe strong. Oh. I believe strongly in Amy. We I like, I like, I'll, I'll break a tie. George. We vote on somebody else. Could we break a tie on somebody else? I don't I... trust JC to not leave the hand. JC, I, I, would I, I believe Let's strongly. Vote on somebody in, else. I believe strongly in Amy. Oh I'm my not... god! Right. Four votes is enough. So JC is now about to die, and Amy is safe. Do we have Why? any other nominations? Because because Amy has to be right twice. Like I get I get oh, the three times. No, 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 no. I'm I'm happy. Okay, I'm happy with the case. It's not Amy. But if we're gonna, I just for me, JC is. I would rather have just killed Eric. Like I don't know why we have to. I just I think that was a bad person. To my push on that. my problem is that if we if you know if I dropped there and tie it or whatever, then I think that we're gonna have this exact same argument tomorrow. Can we just? Yeah. I honestly I. Th 
I think I, Amy's good just, here anyway, so... What do we have backing up Tyler? Because I was under... Like, Ekin feels evil to me, and I don't know if that's... Ekin, Ekin also feels evil to me, but backing up Ekin is Tyler, yes. and backing up Tyler is Amy, right? Last call for mm. nominations. Well, and the and JC. I think Ekin just I, has the wrong world here. And Yeah, I do too. I think Amy's good. I think that Ekin's good. I think the... I don't think they call JC the green. I think we're going to block here. fine. And for what it's worth, in the Vigor world, Brockwell's good. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll nominate Arith. <laughs> but you voted on yourself. Yeah. Um, I mean, firstly, obviously, Panic. Um, secondly, I think Arif could be the demon. Um, I won't, like, I don't want to get, like, a cavalcade of dead votes spent on it or anything. But I, for my benefit, I would prefer to see one of Arif and Amy die, and we've already lifted it off Amy. Arif? Uh, yeah, that's fair. The conversation that, that I had with George, I think, is my biggest confirmation. Um, when George died, I went straight to George and I said, I've seen Brockwell as evil. Um, that's when George, I think, <laughs> said that Brockwell had claimed Goon or something like that. So that's the... That's no, the... it was the me not having... Him not having died when I was... Sorry, yeah, him not having died, that was it, yeah. Um, that's probably my biggest defence. Um, my information, you've all heard it, Hobgood, and then literally three evils in a row, Lorinda, Brockwell, JC. Either I'm a fantastic idiot, um, or I've picked a Goon and two evil players, or I'm just the drunk one. I don't think I'm the drunk one, though. I think this is a, a, a terrible lift. Well, it takes four votes to tie and five votes to kill Arif instead, starting on Ellen's dead vote. No. Yeah, I just... I don't know. Yeah, no, I get it from your point Ekin. perspective as well, Tyler. Why, Ekin, what's, what, are, what, what role are you? I know nothing about you. Um... Your poison is not enough. At, at, this, at this point, Ekin, it's not going to lift, so this you can out. This is the last call for nominations. I'm the minstrel. I think I'm being poisoned by Lorinda. So if if Jay, if Ekin is by some miracle, it's the last, the the last chance to drop. And he will kind of anything about it if Ekin is good. Okay. Alright, Town, you've decided to execute JC, which honestly was a good choice for you because look at how perfectly he fits in the skull. Mm -hmm. it's, like, right? Can we just take a minute to appreciate <laughs> it's that? Very okay. good. Okay. Um, anyways, JC, you, um, <laughs> unlike those before you, you are bonked over the head with a juggling bat. Um, and that is that is how you are executed it's just a, a big old um juggler's club to the face it's very unfortunate uh and you you die and the game is over what no and way i would like to congratulate brockwell's team oh no oh dear yeah. The good team, oh. because oh, you have just no. killed the demon. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was oh, absolutely oh. incredible. So JC was your starting Vigor Mortis, uh, who did a fantastic job, super convincing oh juggler bluff that was super, super close. And then I think things just got a little bit tricky in terms of social trust that good players had with each other at the end. But that was fantastically played by both teams. Uh, JC helming the evil team there. Um, I think a lot of you had figured out that Lorinda was also uh, not on the good team. Uh, Lorinda was the harpy who JC killed first, uh, which was allowed the evil team to poison Ekin, your minstrel. So when Ellen, the godfather, was executed, you did not have a minstrel day because Lorinda had Ekin on lock, so that was very handy. Uh, Lorinda turned Brockwell the goon evil on night two by picking him as the harpy. And then I believe it was, I think, Arif first as the village idiot turned Brockwell oh, nice. back Arif. on night three. And then Brockwell was never targeted again by an evil player, so wins with the good team. Um, Hooray! Yay. You had 
I think, what was it, six village idiot claims at one point? There were two village idiots in this game. The other one was Alex, who you all murdered on day one. But honestly, that might not have been the worst thing in the world because Alex was, of course, your drunk village idiot who saw George the lunatic as evil, uh, which I thought would probably not help, you know, George's whole situation, being told it was a poppy grower game and being told three genuinely out-of-play roles as bluffs. Um, So Alex was drunk, which then gave Tyler the cannibal a sober village idiot pick when you executed Alex, and Tyler saw Ekin as good, which ended up being probably the single most, like, worldview-defining pick, honestly, on the entire Grim, the way that game went out, so that was really, really well played. Uh, You then all executed George, which was absolutely delightful for me, because I got to tell Tyler to pick a player. He thought he was getting a village idiot ability. He picked Ellen, then I said, okay, bye, get out, Uh, because he was actually the cannibal with the lunatic ability. So then I told JC, hey, uh, Tyler is the lunatic. Your lunatic has picked Ellen, and I think JC already knew, but it was nice because it gave him a way to kill Tyler without it, it putting any sort of suspicion on him, and also just is generally a really fun interaction. Um, let's see. Hob was your sailor who did lots of shenanigans all around the town, mostly drinking with people who um, I think made him drunk as a result, which was a little bit of, you know, not what you wanted, but it didn't matter because you didn't get targeted until very late in the game, anyways. I think a big highlight was when you picked. Lorinda, it was the same night that Lorinda picked Brockwell. And originally I was going to make Lorinda drunk. And then because Lorinda was already drunk, I was like, yeah, you can be drunk now. Um, but lots of, you know, there was shenanigans afoot there. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side of town, you had a big uh, trust circle between, um, what was it? Sam, the high watchman and Amy, the night priestess. Um, right. Yeah. yeah. So Sam, Sam was our night watchman who on the first night of the game picked Lorinda, which was delightful because that gave Lorinda a lot of flexibility in terms of how to play that. Uh, and Amy was your high priestess who ultimately I gave uh, Sam and I was very happy to hear Sam say in hindsight, um, well, think about everyone who's here. Like this is the person the high priestess would have picked. Cause I agonized for a while over who to give uh, Amy on that first first night because you know if I think if Sam had picked a good player I definitely would have either given her Sam or given her the player that Sam had picked but because Sam had picked Lorinda mm-hmm. that left kind of a bunch of different options but Honest- I thought yeah mm-hmm. at the end of the game I think honestly that, that in out. hindsight Amy getting me over Lorinda is something that we should have thought about because like I genuinely I would probably have given the recipient and the fact that you didn't give the recipient of the thing as the high priestess mm. could have been something that we looked at. But yeah, I, mm. I absolutely loved your whole, um, yeah, the, the the trust there between the two of you was really, really strong. And that was super great just to see how it that existed the entire game. It was it definitely tough the... for evil, but. Yeah, it was, it was a, a real problem. Like if you watch the game back, you'll see I said to Jams on like night two, I really want to kill Amy, but if I do, then Sam will know it was me because I'm the one who knows <laughs> that they're in a role swap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. for sure, absolutely. Um, yeah. I think there was a lot of like problems for evil there, right? In that you've got uh, like Ekin looks evil, but Tyler, or Amy looks evil, but me, or Ar- or Hob looks mm. evil, but Arab's info, and there's a bunch of like just it's actually really hard to frame anyone yeah. in, or in the circle as evil, just because yeah. it seems like this game is shaken out in such a way that everyone's got someone backing them up. I was I trying think... to put doubt on Arif's information, and it was quite hard with. Because I said Ekin evil, and then that stuff came out about the cannibal, and I was like, ah. Yeah, I that's where I was it. like, I can't place this, because Ekin is evil according to Ellen, and, and from my worldview, Arif, Ellen, and Alex were the village idiots, so Alex was the drunk one. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then George I couldn't place me, your world then. George asked me earlier today um, to, like, on the final day, to uh, build worlds, and I was like, I would, but I don't know any of the village idiot pings except the cannibal one, and that was true. Like, literally, the only thing I knew was that Ekin had been seen as good by the cannibal, and I didn't have a clue otherwise. Yeah, and oh, Ekin was also that. backing up the village idiot who gave the cannibal the ping because people died. Yeah. Yeah, Hon- honestly, JC, getting getting that far after that day one, sort of, well, that day two, I think, when Alex has, uh, we know Alex uh, has picked uh, Ek, uh, sorry, George getting evil, and then the confirmation that George is good based off of the Godfather, just mm. like that swing is like, okay, all future village idiots need to be sober. We know that there's a Godfather in play. We can trust Tyler's information there. Like, it's just a huge swing at that point. Yeah, I, I told. I'm gonna sneak off and say goodbye to chat. 
Um, yeah. I love this. Please keep talking That's about it. That was such a great game. Linda. But if yeah. everyone can really quickly so, wave so and say goodbye to chat. Bye, <laughs> chat. Yay. Yeah. So it was just a quick rules question. All right. That was absolutely wonderful. I love the script. I love the script with a village idiot. I also love it without a village idiot. Um, but a totally separate thing I love is that TPI is now streaming. And so I am going to send you all over there. Um, but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whatever time of the I don't know, the day that it is where you are. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We will be here next Thursday once again, playing Blood on the Clock Tower on Gen Con. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for spending your time with us. It was really lovely to see you all. And I hope you have a good night or day, you know, wherever it is, whatever, wherever you are. And yeah, we will see you maybe over at TPI. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you.